Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I gotta do a video that's been on my mind for a minute. I want to debunk the rust strategy. And the way this came about is, a lot of times I've just been talking to people or running to people and they'll say something like, yo man, I'm using the rust strategy. And then I would say, what are you doing? And basically they would say, I'm posting a song a week. That's the rust strategy. Uh, I don't even want to make this long video, so I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. I get the idea of the song a week representing the rust strategy because that's the easiest thing to remember. But there's a lot of other things that just had to come into play, right? You, the way SoundCloud, especially SoundCloud, when people say they're dropping a song a week on SoundCloud, the way SoundCloud is set up, the algorithms don't really allow discovery to happen like that. They just don't. So if I create a SoundCloud tomorrow and I just start dropping a song a week, a song a week for a whole year, I wouldn't be surprised if I had zero subscribers after a year. I don't care how dope the music is. SoundCloud, just like Spotify and Apple in many ways, you really need to push people into the discovery, whether that's through repost, or you know, just getting on other playlists. You really have to have some way that other people from the outside find out about your music. Now, somebody told me that Res mentioned in some interview, I didn't take time to look it for it, but like he said, he did some kind of collaboration with somebody and that brought in fans. Many at this point know that he had Kara Lewis as a booking agency eventually. There's a lot of pieces to the come up that came to play. I don't know what just happened, someone screaming gonna figure that out after this video. And this all leads back to the system that I've spoken of before. Yes, you can have dropping a song a week, dropping content consistently, a part of your plan. That's a great part and centerpiece to your system, but you have to figure out a way to consistently bring in new people. Even if it's not having, you know, like an ad running every day like some people have done, um, even if it's not getting posted on influencers pages every day or just hustling and getting in front of people, whatever, you still have to say maybe just once a month or just whenever the opportunities arise, I'm pushing people to this stuff, but it's not just going to happen from you posting into the abyss of all the content that's being dropped on the internet. So what's the point of this video? You got to figure out ways other than just dropping music again and again on SoundCloud. Even when you consider the fact that Russ had a lot of music on YouTube, YouTube was better for discovery and finding songs on the side and all those things. So just being on that platform alone was helpful. Just remember the way these platforms are set up, unless it's YouTube specifically, SoundCloud, Spotify, they don't really get you any more views like that. Like Spotify has already said they have millions of songs, just all kind of content that has zero views zero zero listens like there's artists out there that have their art their artwork on this platform with no listens that's because you have to create the push at first you have to figure out how to get people to look at you don't think you'll just keep posting and it'll happen that's it for this video i want to hear some comments from you guys because i know a lot of you guys have known at least some people who are doing this or if you know somebody who is doing this hey just send them this video I could go in deeper detail, but I'm just going to speak at it at that level. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.